Hey guys, I'm super pumped for this interview today. I'm joined by Tyler, who is a product manager at Clavio. And in particular, she's on their custom analytics tool. Tyler, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Chase? I'm doing well, thank you. I love your background. Thank you. <laughs> much cleaner than my apartment at the moment, so I'm trying. <laughs> it, looks, it looks great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat with us today. Would you mind starting kind of with like your, your background? You know, if, if Clavio is your first job, start there maybe like a really brief background on what you did before. And then in particular, like, what are you working on right now at Clavio? Yeah, uh, of course. So I actually come from a classical engineering background. So I was mechanical engineering for a while. Then I did business intelligence, then data science masters. And now I've kind of found my way into Clavio working on some of our more technical features like reporting and analytics, uh, segmentation, and all those fun ways that you kind of group and analyze and act on uh, your customers. That's awesome. So how long have you been at Clavio and then how long have you been owning kind of this product that we're talking about today, the, the custom analytics? Yeah, so I've been at Clavio for three and a half years at this point. Um, I've owned reporting for a while, uh, maybe about a year or two um, at this point in time. And, you know, custom analytics is just sort of uh, the first step <laughs> out the door. So um, it's, it's been great seeing customer reactions to it so far. That's awesome. So, so how long did you actually work on it before you guys released it? And how long has it been officially live for now? Yeah, so the feature has been live as of tomorrow, it'll be 30 days, which is nice. awesome. Uh, so our first month in, and we've been working on the feature uh, throughout the past, you know, year. Uh, we started kind of respecing it at the beginning of this year, really figuring out all the use cases that we wanted to support. And then a long time for build out just to make sure, you know, it's working, it's rich, it's functional. Uh, and then the lease plan to get it through the door in September. That's awesome. And congrats on almost the 30 days. So do you kind of mind explaining, like, what is the difference between this new custom analytics tool and kind of like the typical analytics that we're used to seeing in Clavio? Yeah, of course. So uh, Clavio at this point really hadn't provided a, you know, an amazing tool to let you dive deep into your business and marketing performance. And we understand that that can be cross-functional. It may not just be flows or lists and segments. It's all of the things that you care about. So we wanted to provide a tool that would let customers dive into their data in that way and then really set up Clavio to start providing richer analytics tools by giving sort of a central space where you can just go <laughs> to do this kind of work and this kind of analysis. That's awesome. And, you know, from the feedback that you've collected over the first 30 days, like what were things that you were happy to hear? And what were things that were kind of shocking to hear that people were using for this use case that you never envisioned? Or what are kind of some requests that people want? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing I was happiest about is that it's been a huge time save for people. Um, a lot of our customers, I feel like you know, every marketing business, they have a Google sheet that they maintain and that's kind of like the center of their world. Um, and just making it faster to replicate that data, get those answers, the time save has been really rewarding. Um, the thing that's been, I think, most surprising to me is like, we know there's way more things that we wanna do with this feature and customers have already started finding uh, you know, workarounds to do this, that, and the third for features that we're planning on building out. And it's like, wait, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna give it to you. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's fantastic to see how eager people are and, and just how much they expect from it and, you know, how much they're gonna push us uh, to keep investing in this feature. So that's been really great. That's awesome. And then when, without giving too much away that you're maybe not supposed to give, like, when can we expect like a kind of an, an update to this analytics tool? Yeah, um, so right now, as you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is coming up. So that's like focus number one, first and foremost. But after that, we're gonna start really uh, investing more time in this tool. Uh, so in 2021, you're gonna see a lot of really good power features and usability features come in, um, really starting to meet some of the expectations there around what a reporting tool should be and what it should do. Awesome, that's, that's so awesome. I know before we kind of hopped on, we kind of talked about, you had a few kind of bullet points and notes that you're willing to kind of walk through and share. Do you mind kind of starting with whichever of those you, you feel like you want to start with? Yeah, sure. Um, I think the thing I want to start off with most is just sort of the roadmap for this feature and sort of the things we're going to be hitting on. I know people are super excited about what's next. I feel like that's <laughs> every conversation I have with customers. Um, so I'd kind of love to give you a little bit of insight into that. 
Um, so, you know, as we focus on reporting, there's a couple of different themes that we're going to be diving into. Uh, the first of which is making reporting easy. So we know that right now, what we're giving you is just sort of a raw data table output, very similar to what you'd have in Excel and a Google Sheet. But we're going to start adding usability features like, um, you know, visualizations onto that, having different ways to look through that information, um, having it easier to construct the reports that you want. Um, and then power features like adding more report types. So we know that being able to see which particular products sold off of email is a huge use case. It's huge in uh, yeah. changing up your marketing strategy. Uh, so adding things like that, um, a reporting library, for example, just to make it easier to get started. Uh, so there's a lot of the things that we have coming down the pike that you know I'm really excited about and that people have been asking for a bunch. That's awesome. No, I'm, I'm stoked. I, I'm ready for this now. Can we just get past Black Friday, Cyber Monday and do this? I'm ready. <laughs> It's the best time of the year, though. You got to go through it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're, we're excited. Well, that's awesome. What else do you have for us? Yeah, so um, I thought for you in particular, you know, we could dive into some use cases that uh, we found for custom analytics and that customers have started to use it for, um, and just ways that you can you know, get value from this tool, uh, not only as agency partners, but as marketers trying to expand out your business and get off on the best foot. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's hear it. Yeah. Um, so just kind of like starting from the jump, you know, like one of the first things that we see with new accounts coming onto Clavio is deliverability. Um, how do you set up your account so that all of those, you know, your ISPs like Gmail, Yahoo, that they trust you, that they think you're legitimate, and that you're setting yourself up for long-term success and, and long-term quality engagement. Um, and this feature lets you actually explore how your sends are impacting your deliverability. So as you're exploring different content, different size audiences, and you want to understand, are people opening my content? Are they engaging with my content? Am I getting lots of spams or failed deliveries or things like that? Uh, this is a great way for you to track and monitor your deliverability, make sure that you're doing it, that you're building up that reputation with all those core inboxers. Um, and just prove out that strategy for your team and for the people that you, you answer to. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, then from there, actually like diving into content and content strategy. Um, this one's really fun because there's like a couple of different things that you can do. Uh, one, um, you can make kind of a purchasing funnel with one of our report types, which is called a multi-metric report. So you can actually see, you know, where are the drop off points from active on site all the way to actually finalizing that purchase? Uh, you know, what types of customers are responding? Um, and do you need to help customers figure out certain things about themselves uh, as soon as the process is possible? You know, so one cool example that we found is that we have this amazing skincare brand that we work with. Um, they've got a great line for people with sensitive skin. And we found that um, customers who had self-identified as having sensitive skin actually bought more money, or sorry, not bought more money, but spent more money um, with, their, with their platform than ones that didn't. So helping customers identify that about themselves as soon as possible is sort of a, a major strategy that they can pursue just to generate more revenue. And that was really exciting to see. So being able to dive in those things and understand what kind of content you need to have, uh, what kind of things you help customers discover about themselves if they engage with you is, is really awesome. All right, so deliverability, obviously huge, which you mentioned before, and now content. So, I mean, those two already are like massive wins if you can figure out what, what the data is telling you to be able to increase, hopefully, the engagement, which will then lead to, hopefully, an increase in revenue. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, another big one around content strategy is um, a feature that customers have always wanted more from with Clavio is tagging. Um, and the ability to really explore and organize tags and understand how that content is doing. And now what custom analytics does is it lets you actually report on tags. So if you want to understand how a body of content performs, your holiday emails, your sales emails, your product launches, and which ones customers respond to the most, um, that's now something that you can dive into and explore, which is really fantastic for figuring out, you know, what are the best ones for your business and, and what's going to give you the most value. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Like I think the question I get a bunch is kind of at a, a high level, like you know, how, how, how should education emails perform, right? Obviously, right, sale emails, whether it's like a flash sale or a holiday sale, inherently are going to really perform well because you're getting a discount. People kind of expect it, but, you know, I always kind of tell people they need to be mixing in any kind of content and education. And I think people are always curious, like how it actually performs. So being able to kind of 
bucket and classify that, you know, on a micro to macro level, right? On an individual campaign, let's say in a given week or kind of over the past quarter, like how that performed. So that's actually super interesting. And I didn't know that one. So that's super cool. Yeah, no, it, you're, you're spot on with it. Um, and I think one of the great things about it is that we let you define for yourself kind of what your conversion metrics are. So just like you talked about, each of those different types of content, they have different goals. Some is education, some is sales, some is increasing engagement. And so we let you explore, you know, kind of what is your conversion metric for the kind of content that you're producing and really see, is it hitting on that metric or not, which is nice. That's awesome. And not to throw off kind of some of the other tips and kind of side on yeah. this too much, but are there, um, truthfully, we're doing a little bit with SMS. We're not doing a whole lot with SMS yet mm -hmm. on the platform. It's something on our kind of Q1 plan and board is to do a lot more. Um, on the reporting side, kind of the analytics tool that you're working on, is there anything, is there much kind of on the SMS side or is that kind of coming in a future update? Yeah, it is a bit of both. So the reporting tool lets you report on your metrics. So all of your, you know, SMS consent, you know, click the SMS, uh, converted off of SMS. Those are things that you can explore, but we know okay. that there's more detail around SMS that people want. So we're going to start looking into that as some discrete reports that we can either offer out or build out in a library for people to use. Got it. So some today and there'll be hopefully more in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, so far this has been fantastic. Do you have any, you know, additional, you know, use cases or kind of tips that you want to recommend? Yeah, so uh, the one thing I love about our customers is like, you know, they don't wait on Clavio <laughs> to provide them with the tools. And even if something's on my roadmap, like they will find a way to get to it. And I think one of the most kind of amazing workarounds that I've seen customers come up with so far for a feature that we're working on, which is listen segment reporting, um, is actually using our flows and profile properties to start to track that. Um, so, you know, understanding how a particular audience or group of customers is engaging through content is huge because obviously you want to know, are they responding? Do you need to target a different group? What have you? Um, so someone came up with this amazing way to use their flows to track when people enter a particular segment and add a profile property to them. And they ended up using that profile property in their analysis and the custom analytics tool. So they're tracking, you know, for people inside of segment A, B, or C. Um, you know, like what content are they opening? How much money are they spending? How are they engaging? And like, that's literally a feature that I'm building out, but it's amazing that people figured out ways to do that. Um, and that's flexible enough to support that kind of use case. Yeah, that's sick. If it's, if what we're doing is similar to what you're saying, um, we do that in some degree. So for example, um, we're leveraging like the, the property tag for like VIP, for example. So if someone, let's say spends $300 over the past six months, for one brand that might via VIP. So we're automatically updating their profile um, with the tag of VIP. Now we're also tagging based off of the product category or categories that people shop from. Um, so maybe it's like men's, women's, children, or sale items, right? We're trying to see like which of these buckets that people are purchasing from. Um, so we're, we're trying to do those types of things. Now we're also tagging like the first time someone makes an order and then looking to see like, wait, okay, when are they making their second order, third order, fourth order? Is that kind of what you're mentioning that you saw someone do? Um, definitely what you talked about with like the VIP tag okay. and just like exploring like what VIP versus non, I, uh, sorry, non, excuse me, uh, VIP purchasers were doing. Uh, something that we want to do is start to explore uh, kind of sequential analysis. So customer did action A and then B and then C in that order and then how that corresponds to engagement and revenue. Uh, so we don't have that one just yet, but they did find uh, a way to support that, you know, exploring different customer groups and then figuring out how they're engaging. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for all the info and insight. If, if Clavio customers and clients are kind of watching this and want to send in like thoughts or feedback or suggestions, what would be the best way for them to either reach you personally or kind of the team at Clavio? Yeah, so uh, we have a send ideas <laughs> email address that's specifically for that. So all you have to do is reach out to product at clavio.com. Um, we all see that and you'll kind of get a response from me and we can schedule some time together either to go through your specific needs or just to talk about, you know, what you're thinking and uh, what you want to accomplish. Awesome. And then for you personally, is there any kind of social profile that people can kind of follow you on or connect with you on or is the product email the best place just to kind of connect with you? Yeah, um, I have a Twitter <laughs> that I'm trying to build out. So um, you can reach me. I'm um, at Tyler Petri, T-Y-L-E-R-P-I-E-T-R-I -E -E on Twitter. 
And that's where you can find me and I'll definitely respond to you there and talk to you about, you know, all things Clavio and product. <laughs> Sweet. Well, Tyler, thank you so much for coming on. I really love the energy. I really love the product you're building. It's definitely helping our agency. So I'm excited for future iterations. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Of course.